Welcome back to another episode of the Crypto Serpent. And if you do enjoy the videos, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Now, attorney says possible game set and match for Ripple and XRP lawsuit. Yes, this is what we want to hear. This is what we want to hear. This is what we're talking about now. Be careful, serpents. Be careful. Don't be fooled by these 13, 20% uh, rises that have been going on out there in the marketplace, right? Just slow down. Calm. Be calm. Because we often see these type of events, right? The market goes down hard, picks up about 12, 13, 14%, and then it drops back down again. So just be, be mindful that it could be a fake out. Now, a fake out is very common, and it's designed by the whales to make you have a false sense of confidence that the market is back, and then they dump on you again. So just be mindful of that because we were down to $26,350 for Bitcoin. Now we're up 14% in just a single day, which, hey, I'm not complaining, but I know better. Because serpents, although I guess a serpent isn't really as big as a whale, right? But we know where to hit to get that whale. Now these whales are smart, they're cashed up, and they are ready to make some big moves. Now, it is encouraging, of course, to see the 13% rise and, you know, 27% on Solana, 37% on Cardano, 21% on XRP, 32% almost on BNB at the time of making this video. But like I said, be mindful that it could be a fake out and that we could be touching low 20s, well, mid 20s again for Bitcoin before we really, really start to begin to go up. Now, Teva USDT is sitting today at 99 cents eight which is a lot better than 96 cents at the time of making the video yesterday. But like I said, anything can happen in this market. It is the wild, wild west. The Coinbase has come out saying, hey, if I go, if we go bankrupt, your crypto's gone. I mean, they're literally telling you. Now, it could be a ploy to get people to get money off their exchanges, which causes transaction fees. But it just goes to show everything and anything can happen. We're talking about you know, something that was worth over $50 billion was wiped out in two days in an incredible attack, which worked. So once again, everything and anything can happen. And you should always, always be looking at every single scenario possible that could occur. Every single one of them. Because just thinking about what you wanted to do or how you think it's going to work in your favor, think about all the, all the ways that it's not gonna work in your favor. List them out before actually listing all the positives and then make up your mind. Now, my mind when it comes to XRP and where we're at, where we're going and what is happening, as you can tell by the sound of my voice, I'm excited as I was three days ago, four days ago, two years ago, well, not two years because I haven't even been in the market for two years, but I'm excited, I'm pumped, I'm thrilled because it's all coming together. Now, it would be so XRP for the market to be melting right now and for this case to end a lot quicker than everyone else thinks and then boom, like, you know, XRP just absolutely explodes and destroys the market. Now, what is going on? Now, Attorney Job Deaton points to documents uncovered by the anti-corruption watchdog in power oversight involving the SEC's former director and corporate finance, William Hinman, in a speech he made in 2018 stating that Ethereum is not a security. Now, un according to Empower Oversight, uncovered email suggests that Hinman's not only a conflict of interest in the making speech before delivering it. If Hinman's didn't submit the speech to conflict screening, it is game, set, and match. The ethics office is going to be pissed and want to throw him under the bus if we force this investigation through letters of Congress. Oh, I'm excited. I am excited. It's so good. It's going to be watching the SEC crumble. It's going to be amazing. Watching all the lies come to the surface, all the truth coming out, that legal clarity that XRP needs, and we serpents are off to the races because it is going to be mind-blowing to have that legal clarity what it will do to the xrp ecosystem not just for 2022 but i'm talking 23 24 25 and beyond it's going to be amazing 
is going to be amazing. Now, Ripple could be the best solution for central banks likely to adopt CBDCs soon. Really, Procoin News? Like, you haven't been under a rock? Like, yes, of course, of course, of course, of course. It is, it is, it is the option, right? I mean, what, where else are you going to go? Like, with which platform are you going to go with compared to XRP for such a large scale? And look, at the moment, like I mentioned on Twitter, the answer is very simple. Luna's dead. Solana doesn't work. Bitcoin is slow and Ethereum is expensive. The solution is XRP. It's as simple as that. It can be as complicated or as simple as you want it to be. Really, the choice is up to you how complicated or simple you make your life. But XRP is the answer to a lot of problems that are out there at the moment in the, in the marketplace. So Terra is gone. Like, it, it's done. And my heart goes out to everyone that was in it. The mum and dads, the hard workers, the people that put in, you know, life savings, probably, you know, the people that put in more than they should have. You know, my heart really, really goes out to you guys because in two days, in two days, what has occurred is beyond me. A really, really sad time for those people involved. Because how could you have possibly predicted this? And yes, of course, it does remind us that it, we probably should have stop losses inside our portfolios to avoid massacres like this. But at the same time, crypto is so volatile that you could put a stop loss and it gets hit and within minutes and then it goes back up. So I understand how people don't put stop losses as well, but I tell you what, having a stop loss on Luna would have, you know, saved a lot of lives. Um, but like I must say, my heart goes out to everyone involved because it's the craziest thing that I've ever seen. And hopefully, hopefully, it will be the last that we see of this scale. Now, Grayscale met with the SEC, tried to convince them to turn the GBTC into an ETF. This will be interesting. Let's take a look at uh, the, the kind of ETFs that might be launching in the coming weeks and months, but that's, that's exciting. Now, selling pressure out there in the marketplace, you know, has, you know, obviously, you know, like there's been a lot of selling pressure, but as you saw today, like already, boom, like 13%, just like that, has gone up. So it can turn around very quickly. Now, XRP has returned to, you know, at the moment, at the time of making this, we're currently sitting on 44 uh, cents at the time of making this. Now, 44 cents, 19, 21.71% up, $21.36 billion at the moment. But let's have a look at what happens tonight. Um, obviously, by the time we wake up tomorrow, we'll know. Very exciting times ahead. I mean, for me, it's exciting because like, I know the destination. And so it would be like at the moment we're driving and instead of being on a highway, which we would love to be on a highway, we're on a little, little tiny road, which is extremely bumpy, no lights, you can't see anything. It's the middle of the night and there's a storm. That's kind of like where we're at at the moment. However, at the end of the trip, which is, you know, the settlement, the Ripple IPO, on-demand liquidity, on-demand liquidity for the, the world, I know where the destination is. And so while the, bump, the roads are bumpy at the moment and it's not very pleasant to be on it, right? 44 cents is not a very pleasant place to be. I'd rather be at $44, right? I mean, that, that would be much better XRP experience. But I know the destination and where this is going. And again, it's not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. But I like where this, this is going and I don't care how bumpy the road gets because I know the destination will be worth it. But again, that might not be for everybody. So, at this point in time, these are the numbers. As far as accumulating XRP and the percentage of people that are out there at the moment and what, how much XRP they own and 
it will be so fascinating to watch this what happens to this in the coming say years because that will change it will change really rapidly too now this particular line that has been holding for a really 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 long time can it hold did did we see 35 cents as the bottom now like i said at the moment we could be experiencing a fake out can we touch 35 cents again possibly possibly we could potentially be touching 35 cents again that is definitely a possibility that could be occurring and we have to keep that in mind we have to keep that in mind but this has been holding for a very very long time i'm talking 1850 days so it is solid there are also talks about it going to 29 cents, which we did speak about yesterday. Now, I'm not going to say no. I'm actually not going to say no to that because, like I said, if this is a fake out and, you know, tomorrow or Sunday we begin to go down again, it could happen. But also I have to keep in mind when it comes to XRP that we are one news, one positive news away in this case from the price really starting to take off. So you get you get to weigh up your own options and at the end of the day, I'm only explaining to you the way I see it, the way that I'm interpreting it and ultimately you have to decide. Do you wait until 29? Is it too late if you wait till 229? Let's see. Personally, I'm excited because I believe the road to $2 is beginning as, and as we start to move, right? I mean, a take profit one at 196 would make sense. At 247, it would make sense. At 277, it would make sense. At $3.20, it would make sense. Again, it depends how much you, you know, how long you want to hold for, right? I mean, I mean, if you're short-term mindset and, you know, you're putting in some some longs, then I, I would understand, you know, these type of metrics. Myself, personally, um, I have a much different different outlook when it comes to XRP. And for me, under under double digits doesn't really make sense. Doesn't really make sense. Now, a direct, well, I guess, kind of like putting what happened in 2017 into perspective, then, you know, like something like this could be occurring. Now, but I think we're close. I honestly, I honestly think that we are so close to a price explosion. I think we're, we're, we're really, really getting close to that the, that beginning of huge momentum coming through. And you'll notice it because it'll be a gigantic green candle which will kick us off. So do we bounce from here or do we bounce all the way to 32 cents? 32, 29 cents and then, and then call off again. For now, I'm, I'm more of the opinion that we're going to see the, see those prices again, those 35 cents, 33 cents and all that. I think that could occur. It's just an intuition about how the whales like to play the game. But let's see. Now, if you learned something new today, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. As always, thank you and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.